Hi, I'm Dwayne Nickel from Adobe. I'm one of the evangelists, and we're going to get into a fairly complex subject called data paging and explore how we can work with PHP in conjunction with Flash Builder 4. Now, data paging is a really unique uh, way to get data. It uh, is often used when you have something like a map on a cell phone. If you get a map, you get it uh, sent to you in tiles, and as you start to scroll the map, uh, the application in your hand would then go back and page a server to bring more pieces of it back to you. What we're going to do is we're going to build a uh, data grid and the data grid is going to talk to a PHP data source and it's going to not give us all the data that would normally go on the data grid and it's going to queue itself off sliding down of the uh, data um, scroll bar on the side of the data grid to actually go back to the server and fetch more records and add them to the bottom of the data grid as the user interacts with the data grid. This is actually a very, very complex demo to set up, but all the demo assets will be available at a URL at the end that you can download from. So, to start off on my screen, I've set up a uh, class called Customer Service in PHP. Um, now this one establishes a MySQL connection on localhost uh, with root root uh, to a database called Evangelist uh, Dashboard. And at the bottom, it has a uh, get items paged function, and the get items paged function has a start index and then the number of items you want. So we're going to tell it uh, when we write our code in Flash Builder 4 where to start each time it goes to page more data items and we're also going to tell it how many records to get each time. And as well we're going to be able to monitor this live because Flash Builder 4 is a brand new network monitor so we can actually see this work. Now the database itself uh, will connect to using the MySQL administrator. So I'm connecting to it and I go to the catalogs tab and we'll see the evangelist data. And uh, here's the uh, da database we're going to use, the Evangelist uh, dashboard. And you can see that there's a number of different um, things, a uh, number of different uh, components of it. Uh, the table ID is the uh, primary key. It's an integer. It, can't, integer. it can't be a null. And that's the one we're going to use to work with. So going to Flash Builder, I'm going to set up a brand new uh, Flex project. And the Flex project I'm going to call uh, ADC Data Paging. And for the application server type, I'm going to use PHP. Now on this particular one, uh, using PHP, we're going to have to feed it some values. Now I've got MAMP running. Uh, MAMP is um, the uh, Mac, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack. It's a great little development tool if you're into uh, PHP and MySQL and Apache as I am. Um, we have to feed it the root URL which is localhost 8888 and the web root which is the htdocs and validate the configuration on it. It says they're both valid and that's all we need to do to begin. The next thing we're going to do in our application is create the data service. And the data service we're going to create is uh, limited in this case. You can see that only the HTTP service, web service, and PHP are, are uh, allowable. And we're going to give the service a name. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. One of the things we can do is we can uh, uh, give it a name manually and uh, give it some information. The other thing we can do is simply browse and find our applications directory and go down to where MAMP is and ask Flash Builder itself to go under the HT docs and look at the customer service PHP class itself and uh, inspect it for us. And it inspects it and it comes back with all the objects that are available in here. Now it tells us that we have some work to do to configure the return types for this. The first thing we're going to do is go down to the get items paged uh, function and I'll control click and hit uh, configure return type on this and uh, it'll be a new custom data return type so we'll call it uh, customer uh, pretending of course evangelists are customers and you can see that in the return type uh, unlike before we can actually take the type or the type with the square brackets which would indicate an array in this case I'm actually going to have uh, integers as both types so I'm going to have integers and I'm going to enter a value of uh, uh, 1 here and uh, 2 here and hit next and in this place we must uh, look at the properties and the ones that are going to be returned, so we're going to add all of these and click Finish. 
The next thing we have to do is take the count, which is the count, and this is going to be based on the primary uh, uh, key or the, the um, primary index of the database on where it should start returning items from. Because remember, we feed it two parameters, where it should start from and how many items you want it back. So as we did with the uh, get items page, we're going to have to configure the return type for this. So control, uh, click on this, configure return type, and in this one we'll enter count and hit next. Um, unlike the other one, uh, there's no specific operation, so we can click uh, next. It tells us it's of type int, and uh, that is now done. Next, we have to configure the uh, Get Items page uh, to enable data paging. So we right-click on it or Control-click on a Mac and do Enable Paging. And this is where we have to have some knowledge of our database. Um, the primary key in the database, as we showed earlier, is Customer ID. So we select that. And now we have to select the Count operation. Now, we've already configured Count. And that's all we have to do for this. We've now configured all of the wiring for the uh, talking back and forth, and now we have to add some visual components to our uh, application. The last piece of the puzzle we have to do is add some visual components to our application. In this case, it couldn't be easier. We switch to Design View, go over and grab our data grid, place it on, go to Get Items Paged, drag it onto the data grid, and it's actually now configured itself for the tables that are going to come back from the uh, database. Now, in order to run this, we're going to look at the network monitor, and we're going to go ahead and run this. And we can see that it's actually gone and paged four different times the data that's gone out into the application. As I scroll it down, as I move it up, we'll see the network go out more and more times on the network monitor at the bottom to grab more data. This is a very simple demo of something called data paging. And the advantage that this gives you as a developer is if you have a very large data set that you need to return back to the client, you can return bits of the data just in time and control how it gets sent back to you. You don't want to obviously give 20,000 rows back to somebody with a cell phone device and not start to render some of it before the rest of it's there. The advantage is, of course, you can render the results before you get the rest of it uh, done. As I promised, all the source code and tutorial uh, for how you can build this yourself is available at this URL. Thank you.